I'm joined now live from Singapore by a senior market analyst, LGT Capital Management's Mikio Kumada joins me now. So thanks very much for being with us this morning. So yesterday we saw an unexpected spike in U.S. jobless claims. That seemed to disappoint the market a bit. Joseph Stiglitz now says the U.S. is experiencing an anemic recovery, is going to need more stimulus. I wonder, is the picture as bad as he's painting it? Well, um, you know, anemic is actually a nice word. It's a, a Greek word, and it means, I think, without wind. So uh, if you consider that Mr. Stiglitz was one of the proponents uh, of a big stimuluses, uh, which were supposed to, to supply that wind, uh, indeed, uh, that may be a little bit disappointing. However, from an investor's perspective, or at least from our perspective, the recovery is good enough. Uh, and even the current slow, slowdown that we see um, is in line with the historical pattern of how economies recover from recessions. Uh, we've seen it in the 90s and the, we've seen it earlier this decade. It's very normal. It is a recovery that is still intact. Uh, it's just slowing down after the initial V-shape that we saw last year. That at least is our perspective. But this is a different recovery, isn't it? Because it's followed uh, a recession that was triggered by a credit crisis. Absolutely, yes. Um, and this is also another reason why it is uh, perhaps weaker than uh, what many people would expect after such a huge stimulus. However, even even if you even that case uh, is slightly exaggerated, perhaps we have looked, for example, at uh, on, uh, employment data in previous recessions or as we came out of previous recessions, and it actually took uh, this time around. Uh, if you look at moving averages, just to take out the noise from things like the census and stuff, uh, we are at the about an average of 100,000 jobs per year per month this year, uh, and that has been achieved after about 15 months or so from the low point of the recession. That's actually not a bad comparison to previous recoveries. So for the time being, you know, the jury is out there, but we're actually right. quite happy with the gap between what is perceived as weakness and what the economy is actually doing, and that is, of course, reflected in the low valuation. So, um, you know, as far as we're concerned, we're, we think the economy is doing okay uh, from an investor perspective. Now, U.S. companies have been achieving some pretty robust results here. But I suppose the question going forward is, are they going to start to invest more, create jobs, or are they going to be reluctant and cautious and hang on to their money in the same way that consumers are? Well, I think, you know, this is also a, uh, a, a, a thing that is uh, slightly weaker uh, compared to previous experiences. There is going to be some cautiousness, at least in the U.S., and I think a main reason for that is because in the U.S. we don't have yet a clear exit strategy, which is something that is happening in Europe. Europe has an exit strategy. I'm talking about an exit from the fiscal stimulation or overstimulation or very low interest rates or whatever, and that is actually contributing to boosting confidence and also business activity in the euro area, which is why Europe is surprisingly accelerating um, as opposed to the near-death predictions that we had a few months ago in the context of the Greek crisis. So, but, you know, it will also happen in the U.S. eventually, uh, but we have to get that hurdle of the uh, congressional election uh, over probably in November until we get some concrete stuff out there, I presume. Okay, Mikio Kumada, Senior Market Analyst at LGT Capital Management. Thank you for joining us.